Hello, dear friends, I am Violetta from Crafting with View of You. This video tutorial is for one of these Christmas bubbles from my new collection, Christmas Jewels. Most of these bubbles are made in regular crochet technique. I use Twister Solid Yarn from Hobby.com for my bubbles and a 2mm hook. I don't know how much yarn goes for each bubble, I just know that I made more than 20 bubbles using only two skeins of yarn. You can use any other sport weight yarn or crochet thread number 3. I use plastic balls to fill my bubbles, they are 3 inches in diameter. You can also use styrofoam balls or you can use water balloons and stiffen your bubbles with starch or glue, but I don't have a tutorial for that. All the patterns are available in my Ravelry store, the link is below this video. The patterns come with written instructions, photo tutorials and video tutorials. And now, let's get started! First round, we will start with a magic ring, so actually it's a slip uh, ring. A start as if you were going to make a slip knot, but do not tighten this loop. Make a chain stitch and then make three more chain stitches. This will count for the first double crochet. Now bring this tail up, like to close this ring and work 11 double crochets into this ring. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and the tenth and eleventh stitch I'm going to work over this yarn tail. So ten and eleven, and join with a slip stitch into the first, uh, sorry, into the third chain stitch of this beginning. Uh, chain three um, chain okay so this is the first round let me tighten this loop and the first round is done actually we're going to work with um, with the different yarn in this second round so we're going to join the second uh, yarn through this slip stitch so insert the hook into this third chain Grab this yarn and pull it through this stitch and then tighten. Let's make a chain stitch to secure it. So now we've joined the yarn color B and the first round is done. Round two is worked with yarn color B. We've already joined it and we will start with two single crochet stitches into each of these uh, double crochets below and we will work only into back loops of these stitches so let's do it two single crochets into the first stitch into which we joined i'm going to work over this uh, yarn to enclose it two single crochets into the same stitch then two two single crochets into the next stitch two single crochets into the next stitch and like this all the way around this round and we're going to join with the um, slip stitch through which we're going to join yarn color A, just like we did um, to join this red yarn, okay? Two stitches, two stitches, and the last two stitches. And to join this round, we're going to uh, insert the hook into the first single crochet and pull yarn A through this slip stitch. Okay, make a chain stitch to secure it. Now the second round is done. Round three. Let us join yarn color A, make a chain stitch. And the first st stitch will be a single crochet into the first single crochet in the previous round so let's work single crochet work through both loops then shell stitch which is five double crochets into the second stitch from the last one so one two skipping one work, uh, work in the second and work five double crochets in that stitch one two three 
four and five. Then skip one stitch, single crochet, skip one stitch, shell into the second stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. And then skip one stitch, single crochet, skip one stitch, shell stitch. So like this, shell, uh, six shells, she sells seashells on the seashore. Six shells around this round, okay? Don't forget single crochet, then skip stitch, shell. One, two, three, four, and five double crochet, skip one stitch, single crochet, skip one stitch, shell stitch. Skip one stitch, single crochet, skip one stitch, the last shell stitch, one, two, three, four, and five, and we will join this round with a slip stitch into the first single crochet, and while we're joining this round, we will also join yarn color B like this, and make a chain stitch, and you are ready to work on round number four. In this round, we're going to work single crochet stitches into the stitches two rounds below. So in round two, we're going to enclose the single crochet and work around it, okay? Right into the same stitch in which you work this single crochet. So let's do it. Single crochet into the same stitch into which you joined the previous round. Oh, sorry, two rounds below, right here. We do not yarn over. So single crochet, it's a long single crochet, okay? Then chain seven. And single crochet into the next single crochet, which is right here. Single crochet under this single crochet. And work a long single crochet. Then chain seven. And long single crochet right over the single crochet in previous round chain seven, single crochet, and like this, all the way around this round, and we're going to join with a slip stitch into the first single crochet. This is a very quick round. So the last one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, join with a slip stitch into this first single crochet so this is round four and we're going to continue working with yarn color b in round five round five we're going to start with a single crochet into the single crochet right below then four single crochets in this chain uh, seven space, then chain three, and then four more single crochets into the same chain space, like this. And this is the repeat for this round. Single crochet into the single crochet below, then four single crochets into the next chain space, then chain three, and uh, four more single crochets into this same into the same chain space, then single crochet, then four single crochets, chain three and four single crochets into the same chain space. And we're going to join with a slip stitch into the first single crochet of this round. And we will join yarn A through that slip stitch. Round six, we've joined yarn color A, and we're going to start with a single crochet into the same stitch below, then chain five, single crochet in chain three space, then chain five, and repeat this pattern, single crochet in single crochet between these two groups of four single crochets, then chain five, 
single crochet in chain three space, chain five, and continue like this all the way around this round. And join with a slip stitch into the first single crochet at the beginning of this round. Round seven, please chain one and work five single crochet stitches into this chain five space. Four and five, then chain two and five single crochets down the other chain space like this. Then skip this single crochet and work into the next chain space, five single crochets, then chain two, and then five single crochets into the next chain space. And like this all the way around this round, and I will show you how we're gonna close it because we will need to join yarn um, B in a little bit different way, okay? And to close this round, I'm going to take the hook out of this loop, insert it under the first, sorry, into the first single crochet stitch at the beginning of the round, like this from the back, then put the loop back onto the hook and pull it onto the back of your project, then make a chain stitch, then grab your yarn color B, pull it through this loop, tighten the loop and make a chain stitch. So this way we've joined uh, yarn color B without it showing it uh, sh showing on the front because we're going to work with um, to work um, back loop stitches in this uh, next round and we don't want the join to be visible on the front and now we're going to work on round number eight and we will start with six single crochet stitches all the stitches in this round are worked into the back loop and the first stitch is worked into the first single crochet in the previous round with, with yarn color b okay so one two three four five the sixth stitch is worked into the back loop of the first chain stitch then chain two then single crochet into the back loop of the second chain stitch and five more single crochets. Two, three, four, five, and six single crochets in total. Now we're going to work the same pattern on this um, petal of this flower. We're not skipping any stitches. Work six single crochets. then chain two, then six more single crochets, or you can just count 12 single crochets all the way until the next chain three space. And like this, please work all the way around this round. And when you're going to join this round, please do it the same way like we joined um, the previous one with the invisible join stitch and join yarn A. Round nine is actually the same as round eight, just we will have one more stitch per each repeat on each side. So work seven single crochet stitches into the back loop of the stitches below. And seven, oops. Then chain two, and then seven single crochets into the back loops. And actually continue like this seven more single crochets and one two three four five six and the seventh one is worked into the chain stitch then chain two and now 14 single crochets. So like this around this round, when you will close this round, please use the same invisible join stitch. And join yarn color B.
round 10. We've joined yarn color A and we will start working into the first single crochet. And I've cut the yarn color A and I'm going to work over this yarn tail. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then chain two, it's an easy round, and then seven single crochets. And this is the pattern for this um, round. Just continue working seven single crochets, then more seven single crochets, so 14 single crochets in total on each side like this. Then chain two. And join with the invisible join. I'm going to show you how we're going to finish this around, okay? We need this side to be perfectly finished. And to join this round, we're going to use a invisible join, which is different from the slip stitch. Please cut this yarn and use a tapestry needle. So you threaded the needle in, uh, into the thread. <laughs> Sorry. So you threaded the yarn into the needle. Now we're going to insert the needle into the first single crochet stitch at the beginning of this round. And then back into the last single crochet. Tighten. And this join is absolutely invisible. Now I'm going to use uh, this yarn tail to tighten a knot. And then weave the ends into the back of the stitches. And by the way, while you were working this uh, around, you can also work over the yarn tail of white color, so you don't need to weave it in at the end. And round 10 is done. Round 11, we're going to join yarn color A with a slip stitch into the fourth single crochet from the beginning of the previous round. So one, two, three, and four into the back loop, please. So join with the slip stitch, make a single crochet into the same stitch, and then work four more single crochets all into the back loops of the stitches below. And you see I'm working over this yarn now. I, I can even cut it right now. Oops. Mm, great. Then chain two and work five single crochets down the other, down, uh, down this slope of this petal. Then chain five. Skip, sing, uh, skip six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six and work into the seventh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Yes, into the seventh single crochet and work five single crochets in total. One, two, three, four, and five. Then chain two, five singles. And five, then five chains. Skip six single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and six, work into the seventh, and work five single crochets, and so like this all the way around this round. And the twelfth round, in this round, we're going to join two halves of the ball over this plastic uh, bubble, okay, like this. So we will start working on this last round and we will be joining it with this half of the bubble. So the first stitch is going to be worked into the fourth single crochet in the previous round. So right here, all the stitches into the back loops and also I'm going to work over these yarn tails to enclose them. So one, two, three and four, then chain one and connect it with a sing, um, with chain three space on this side. So grab it like this Oops. and work a single, uh, yes, single crochet and then chain one and then continue working on this side 
four single crochet stitches one two three and four now you know i'm going to cut these yarns like this and now i'm going to skip these two stitches and work three like you see what I'm, I'm going to do i'm going to work three single crochets then chain uh, then connect with this chain and then three single crochets on this on this chain space so three single crochets one two and three uh -huh. okay so here okay then connect with this uh, uh, chain three okay with a single crochet and then continue working down this side four single crochets continue enclosing these yarn tails into the stitches so one two three and four let me clean up a little bit here i need to do it now because once we put this shell onto the bubble it will be difficult to do that okay so we have four single crochets then single crochet uh, to connect it to the other side and then four more single crochets now we're going to skip these two stitches work three single crochets into this chain space then chain one and connect it with this chain chain three space on this side like this then chain one and go back working over this chain space three more single crochets okay so now this is how we connected these two side the the first connection then we're going to skip two first stitches and work into the um, third one work four single crochets one two three four then connect with this chain space with a single crochet then go back working on this side four single crochets one two th oops three and four then skip these two stitches three single crochets one two three then chain one connect with the next chain space on the other side chain one three single crochets skip two single crochets four singles so like this continue joining um one at some point we will have to put the bubble inside okay so far we can continue uh, joining the sides uh, like this so four single crochets one two three four skip two stitches three single crochets in chain space chain one connect with this chain three space chain one three single crochets skip two four single crochets connect four single crochets so at some point you will have to put this onto the bubble and continue crocheting it will not be very very comfortable but well this is the price to pay to make these kind of beautiful creations so connected let's do some more like this so three single crochets then skip to four single crochets and now let's put the bubble inside and continue working around so join with this opposite chain space then four single crochets yeah i told you this is not very comfortable but very very pretty 
I prefer this way rather than finish two sides and then use a needle, but you can do that. You could finish both sides and then run a needle through this last um, round of uh, single crochets while joining with the opposite side. It's also possible. This way you will avoid this kind of uncomfortable work. So three more single crochets. One, two, and oops, lost it. And three. It's magnificent. This bubble is so beautiful. So four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Join with the opposite side. Four more single crochets. We're almost, almost done. One, two, three, and four. And now you can decide either you can join these sides together but then your flower will not be sitting straight it, it, it will be shifted like this a little bit or you can just keep uh, joining here and then this um, design will be symmetrical here okay i'm gonna uh what i'm gonna do you know what i'm going to make a double crochet into this single crochet right here because i want to prevent this thing from shifting okay I'm just improvising here. And then five single crochets or six, six single crochets on this side. Three. Oops. Four. Five and six. Maybe five would, was enough. And then I'm going to make a double crochet into this stitch right here. And then I will join with this first single crochet and, and I'm using, <laughs> and I'm going to use a needle to do that. Okay, so like this into the first single crochet. Then go back into this last single crochet on this side then go through these stitches a little bit back and forth like this and like this then cut the yarn and this is what we have now maybe we could just skip these three chain stitches but you see they're not even visible okay now your bubble is secure it's not gonna uh, um, shift so <laughs> this is so beautiful i really really like this design um, if you like this video tutorial please give it a like please subscribe to my channel please join my facebook group and follow me on instagram and share your pictures in um, our Facebook group and on Instagram, and happy crocheting!